Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, this is Auto Detour, and if you missed the last upload, we've been messing around a little bit with moving the vacuum line around for my boost actuated cutout for the exhaust. Uh, so brief overview, we basically, we used to have the cutout attached to the intake manifold over there, kind of thinking that maybe it's not opening as quickly as it should because we got to pressurize the whole intercooler piping and the charge pipe and the intake manifold before it actually pushes the pressure over to open the, the cutout down there in the exhaust. So now, uh, last night we swapped it over so that it's hooked directly to the feed line on the turbo here. So as soon as pressure comes from the turbo, it should open up that boost actuated cutout around four to five PSI and hopefully allow us to spool the turbo a little faster. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing that out. We're gonna be taking Gramps out, just seeing if that exhaust cutout uh, opens up any faster and allows us to spool just a little bit quicker. So before we jump into today's video, be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying the Grandpa Truck build series uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's jump right into it. a little bit give the truck a couple little uh little pulls see how see how well that weight not the wastegate and then we'll see how well that waste why do i keep saying wastegate see how well that uh boost actuated cutout opens up now uh, hopefully it opens up a little bit quicker let's go test it out all right so we're just rolling up to a stop sign here this will give us a good we're going to turn right this will give us a good opportunity to you know test out when it's really the hardest time to get boost is when you're already rolling part way through first uh, didn't use any power braking or anything and you just stand on the gas after you're already rolling that seems to be the hardest time to build boost so let's give it a shot here certainly opening up it see it sounds like it opens up the rest of the way when we hit second uh, but it's opening up in first now which it was a little bit before but it seems to be opening more in first which is a good thing so we'll try it again uh, up here in a little bit we'll we'll hit it from a stop give it a chance to spool from a dead stop and see how that does for us oh and just to mention we're at 40 percent on the wastegate which might be a little low being that it's you know, fairly warm out, but just kind of want to try it out in kind of regular driving conditions, see how it does. We could probably turn it up to 40, 46, 50, somewhere in there uh, for this kind of temperature, but uh, we'll play with it in 40, uh, and if it doesn't open up, we'll play with it. We'll bump it up to probably 50% and see how it does. Uh, problem is I, at 50%, even at this warm, Usually I will bump, I will hit the uh, 10 PSI cutoff, but we'll see. Nice Porsche. All right, here we go. We're gonna hit it from a stop here. No power braking. Oh, it's super fun. 
it's definitely still not opening all the way in first with no power braking anyway uh, that's probably okay because uh, if you know, you're gonna be racing you're probably gonna power brake it also kind of proves that it would probably be super helpful to get some sort of uh, higher rpm stall in here so if you're new to the channel that i mean the truck is completely stock other than the turbo and the tune uh, so we have stock transmission the stock torque converter uh, the stock stall is like 2000 rpms and obviously we don't spool till mid probably around 2500 so getting a higher stall torque converter in there would help a ton so i'm probably gonna leave that for now uh, probably not gonna mess with the dump too much because i can certainly get it to open if i power break it some more it's opening a little bit in first now which is good because there's not as much load on the engine that's why it's not boosting as much in first um so i'm a little less worried now about the uh, not that i'm worried I'm, I'm thinking that it's not the stock exhaust isn't uh, holding us back too much because if you guys remember when the when we first hooked back up the stock muffler the <laughs> the cutout wasn't working and we couldn't boost any more than like six six and a half psi i think it was just because of how restrictive that stock exhaust is and i don't have any cats it's just a muffler the two and a half inch exhaust and the stock muffler just doesn't flow enough air uh, to uh, create really hardly any boost so that's that so now let's go have a little bit of fun let's turn the wastegate up to 50 percent Now we're at 50 percent. Oh, and I feel the nice cold air from the AC now <laughs> blowing out my custom vent there. Still blows a surprising amount of air even though there's only two openings. We're going to wait for that to set at 50 percent. There it goes. Should have brought my V-Box out here see what our 0 to 60 is now that we're at 10 psi. All right, so we're headed into the sun now. I apologize for that. I'll try to get the speedometer as best I can here. Let's try a little bit of power brake, 50% on the on the duty cycle. percent still a little too much for even 80 that's 81 now we did hit the 10 psi boost cut the truck just wants more it wants more so leave a comment down below if you think we should turn off that 10 psi boost cut and see what gramps will do at 11 possibly 12 psi uh, <laughs> cruising like this I'm trying to determine you know when I just kind of roll into it that cutout is definitely opening sooner I'll aim it down here at the boost gauge it seems before it would open around 4 psi reading on the boost gauge I'll listen to see if you can hear it open You can actually, I can actually start to hear it open around two and a half, maybe three PSI. So it's definitely opening sooner. So I'm happy with that. The only downside is obviously when you're cruising, pulling hills and stuff, when you're not wanting it to be loud, uh, obviously it's gonna be louder, but that's, you know, that's fine. I'm not pulling stuff a bunch. If you pull the trailer, obviously that thing would be opening all the time. Um, and it sounds good, not that that's a bad thing. Um, so I'm happy. I'm glad Eric from Racing Ram Fam suggested switching that around. I don't think I'm gonna mess with it anymore. It's it's just about perfect. All right, so we're headed back to the house now um, on a good old dirt road. <laughs> uh, that's the best part about living out on the edge of town. You can just go out in the middle of nowhere pretty quickly and I enjoy that. So in the next couple weeks, uh, I'm going to be taking the Viper to the IMSA race, IMSA at Road America in Wisconsin. 
That race is July 31st to August 2nd. I will be there the whole weekend, so if any of you guys are out there, would love to meet you guys, run into you guys. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I will be monitoring that while I'm there. Uh, just shoot me a message if, if you're there. My Instagram is at Auto Detour. Definitely gonna be taking some video there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll be there with a group of guys. I'll be bringing the Viper. It should be a lot of fun. I've never been to a road race before. So Porsches, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, all those types of race cars. So I'll be there. And if you guys happen to be there too, would love to run into you. So with that being said, do need to get the Viper ready to go because it's about a five and a half hour drive for me. And I'd like to get the fluids changed on the Viper. Just make sure that everything's good to go for that. I've never driven it that far before. Obviously don't want anything to happen. So I will be making videos of you know stuff that I'm gonna be doing to the Viper to be getting ready for that. And then of course videos at the race itself. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, we are back at the house now. Grant's here behind me, just laying down the power consistently day after day with no issues uh, so far. Engine is holding up, the trans is still strong. Really just can't believe it. Really just happy with the performance. Uh, Casey Whitmer did the tuning for the trans and the engine. Obviously that's all kind of in one. Truck's running great. That mod to the vacuum lines, thank you to Eric for that suggestion. Seems to make a difference. The, it's opening up around two and a half, three PSI now, which is great. Gramps is just kicking butt. So, <laughs> Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys at Road America July 31st through August 2nd. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that like button. If not for me, do it for the Grandpa Truck build. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great night. I'll talk to you next time.